I'm Norma with Positive Choice Integrated Wellness Center. Welcome to Senior Strength once again. Thank you for joining me. I do have to let you know that today is going to be a little bit tougher. We're going to use the ball, all right? So not to get discouraged, probably take a look at the video once and then see what we're doing and then grab your ball and then follow me, turn it on again and then do, do that. So um, it's a pretty good workout. It's a full body workout and I think you're going to enjoy it. Hopefully you have already done your warm up, okay? Five, seven minute warm up and then we can get started. So the ball should be, when you sit down, the ball should be lined up with knees and hips should be level, okay? So if your hips are too high, the ball is too big, your hips are too low, the ball is not filled up enough, okay? I'm five six and this is a uh, 65 centimeter ball. They come 55, 65, and 75, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure your ball has plenty of uh, air in it, but not too hard to make it uncomfortable. So we're gonna go ahead, get down on the floor. And this is lower body work, okay? So you're gonna take the ball in the ankles. You're gonna come lay down. Now, just for your back purposes, we're gonna put our hands underneath our back and just support it. I always use a diamond shape on my fingers. And I'm gonna bring it down. Get a good hold of that ball with the ankles, and you're gonna come up 90 degrees, drop down, lift up, drop down, lift up. You don't necessarily have to bring the ball down to the floor. It's a little more challenging to uh, just kind of hover it over the floor. Keep the abdominals engaged. You don't need to go too fast. Breathe in, breathe out. Exhale when the ball comes up. Let's go with three more. And two more. One more. And bring the ball back down. Usually, just bring the feet on the ball, roll the ball towards you, get a nice stretch with the knees towards the chest arms down by your side. That's a nice little reprieve from what you've just done. Okay, we're gonna move the ball away. Come on up. And now we're gonna do a plank. Okay, so you're gonna get to the very, very far back of your mat. You're gonna place your belly on the ball and you're just gonna start walking forward. Just walk, 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 walk. Okay, and you're gonna whoa, keep yourself steady, and you're just gonna hold plank. All right, I'm gonna look at the clock, and we're gonna hold this plank for 30 seconds. All right, and just hold. This is all the upper body. Hold, hold. You could probably go a little bit further and make sure those toes are touching the ball, so you're really nice and. Great. Draw the navel up into the spine. Keep yourself super, super strong. Breathe in, breathe out. Almost there, five seconds. Good. All right, and then let's just start walking back carefully. I know it gets a little bit wibbly, wibbly, but that's okay. Good job, you did your 30 second plank. Very nice. All right. One foot up, hand on the thigh, lift yourself up. We're gonna do sit-ups, okay? So have a seat on the ball. And you're gonna walk your way forward. Hands behind the ears, feet underneath the knees. And you're gonna lift and drop back. Now I wanna explain something about doing sit-ups on the ball. The closer your buttock is to the floor, it's gonna be easier to do those sit-ups. The further your ball is from the floor, I'm gonna move myself just a little bit closer. So the further the, ball, the buttock is up on the ball, it's gonna be a little more challenging to do your sit-ups. Okay, come up at an angle, drop down to a tabletop position, come up and down, breathe in, Exhale up, breathe in, exhale up. 
exhale up. Good job. Let's just go with five more. Breathe in. Four more. Three. Good job, everyone. One more. Finish it off. And lift. Come down. And sit up. It's a lot of work, huh? That's great. That is great. Okay. So, we're probably going to get to the toughest one of all. This one is, I call it ball transfers, okay? This is going to work upper body and lower body. We're going to get back down on the floor. Have a seat. You're going to be on your back. You're going to take the ball again in those ankles. You're going to lay down. And you're going to take the ball in those ankles. Give it to the hands. Legs go down. Arms go down. Legs come up. Now the legs have the ball. You're transferring it. Transferring it. Now, there's a way, there's a way to modify this. Keep your knees bent. Hands, knees bent. Transfer it. Knees bent. Transfer it. You see, so you can modify it if you want. Or keep it full form. Whatever works better for your body. Alright, so these are tough ones. Upper body, lower body. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice job, everyone. Do it whatever way feels better for you. Let's go with three more. Two more. One more. This is it. Good job. Put the ball off to the side. Keep your hand on it. Drop the knees to one side just to give you a good stretch. Take it easy. Breathe. In through the nose, out through the nose. Slowly come up over the other side. Just let those knees drop to the side. Good job. Okay, then we're coming up. Let's go ahead and roll to the side. Have a sit. We're going to do push-ups. So, once again, take the ball. I'm going all the way to the back, belly on the ball, and I'm going to roll forward. Now, with the push-ups, you can go ahead and just cross your ankles. Drop down, lift up. Drop down, lift up. Try not to roll back. Keeping the face over that low shoulders. Okay, wide stance on those arms. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice. You can also go further back. And you can go here too. This is okay. Work with what works for your body. Work with what works for you, okay? Do what you can do. Let's go two more. And release. Go ahead and roll yourself back slowly. Fall off the belly. All right, nice job. Okay, one foot forward, hand on the thigh, lift yourself up. All right, so now, we're going to use two weights, okay? We're going to do a chest press on the ball. So take your weights. Any size weight will do. I've got 10 pounds. You can do 8 pounds. You can do 5 pounds, okay? Like we did the sit-up, you're going to sit on the ball. All right, let me move it back a little bit more. You're going to walk forward. Put your head, neck, and shoulders on the ball. Lift your buttock up. Start with the arms up in the air. Then get the elbows. Press up. Breathe in. Exhale up. Breathe in. Exhale up. Breathe in. Exhale up. So we five more. Four more. Three. Two. One. 
and bring it down. Bring those arms down by your side. Roll yourself up back on the ball. And let's go ahead, move the weights out of the way. Back extension for the back. Belly on the ball. Feet are nice and straight. Legs are straight here. Toes are curled under. Hands underneath the chin. You're going to drop down. You're going to lift. Drop down. Lift. Down. And lift. Try to keep those toes on the mat so you're not slipping. And lift. Be careful of not going up too high and hyperextending in the back. Drop down. Keep your back nice and strong. Lift. And lift. Let's go with four more. Three. Two. Last one. And one. All right. Roll back. Take the ball off your belly. Helps you breathe a little better. And let's go ahead and have a seat on the ball. Good job, everybody. It, it was a little more uh, of a strenuous workout because it's the ball. It's a little different. Um, what would be nice, too, is when you've done this sequence here, Turn, turn it back on again, and then do the other part so that you can get on that double set. Okay? That's a good workout. You've done fantastic. Now it's time to stretch. So let's go ahead and breathe in, arms up. Exhale, reach over the head. Always remember your stretches after your workouts. Very important. And again, lift, breath in. Exhale, reach over the head. It's nice that you're taking this time to do something so important for you, your muscles, your bones. Resistance training, yeah. Come on up and then release. Bring the arms behind you. Just hold the back of the ball. Lift the sternum, open up the chest, bring those shoulders back. Breathe in, breathe out. Very nice. And then slowly release those arms forward. Let's bring the chin down. Just relaxing the neck. Comfortable breathing. Slowly bring the bridge of the nose up towards the ceiling. Gentle breaths. Slowly back to center. And let's turn to the right side. Just relax the shoulders. Relax through the neck. Turn back to center and over to the other side. Now don't forget to stretch your neck, it's important. And then back to center. Take the right ear to the right shoulder, drop down. And a little bit further, extend your left arm out. Finger, palm up and fingertips down. Nice little stretch right here in this group of muscle, neck muscles, our scalene group. And then slowly release, head back to center. And then left ear to left shoulder, very gently. And your head has enough weight on it, so you don't have to try to force that head over. Just let it drop down comfortably. Taking your right arm out, palm up, fingertips down. Fully extend out through that shoulder and help lengthen the muscles in the neck. And then release the arm, release the head and the neck. And then just gentle little circles with the head and the neck. You might hear little funny sounds in there. It's okay. As long as the neck can keep moving. And then go the other direction. Moves. And then back to center. Shake out those arms. Take your shoulders, roll them up and around. Very nice. And then let's
let's take our elbows, wide stance on the legs, let's hinge forward, lead with those elbows, lengthen the spine, slowly start drawing yourself forward, dropping those elbows, dropping the head, lengthen through the neck,